and there we go looks really good already now all we need to do is the top and the bottom and then we'll do some shading so that it looks really good Okay, so here you will see that I have Photoshop open. Now you do need some sort of image editing software to get started. We need to go ahead and open up the uvs.png that we had saved earlier. So let's go and hit Control O. We can see that it's right here. Open that up. And those are the uvs that we had set out just last video. We can rename this layer to UV. Let's go ahead and add a background to it so that it's not just transparent. Name it BG, short for background. And I like to set my background to a dark gray here. 333 is a good hex code there. So we can hit Alt Delete to fill the layer with our foreground color. And there's one more thing that we need to do just to get set it up. We can select both of these layers, hit Control J to duplicate them, and merge them. Go ahead and name this one Selection, and you'll see why. In just a second, we can get our magic wand tool, select some part of the gray outside of the UVs, right click, select inverse, now go to select, modify, expand, about three pixels is fine, and select the inverse again, and hit delete, so that is gone. What you'll see is that we have this gray outside of our UVs um, by a little bit, by three pixels and that'll keep it looking very nice and clean. Background layer visible again. And let's go ahead and get started. I am not going to be hand painting this. I'm gonna be using textures that I found on the internet that are free to use. So I already have them saved. I can just hit Control O and open them up here. And they will come in new windows here. All we need to do is hit V to go to our remove tool. Drag it along into this window here. And we can do the same with the metal. Let's start out with the wood first. And as you can see, this already has the look of a barrel. We just need to get it just right with our UVs. So let's set these below our UV, but above the background. And let's get to moving it. So we need to, we need to have it something like this, perhaps. And we need to see if that is a good size for our barrel. So let's hide the UV layer. Save this as a JPEG, save as barrel, rename it to barrel diffuse, go down to JPEG, hit save, OK. We can switch over to Blender, we need to open up an image and our barrel diffuse, and that is looking pretty good right there. You can see that the size, that actually looks just fine, so we're not going to be changing the size anymore but we do need to go ahead and fill up the rest of the space. Let's go ahead and do that by hopping back into Photoshop, making our UV layer visible again, and just duplicating this by going to your remove tool, holding Alt and Shift to drag it in one direction, and do that. It is a tileable texture so we're not going to see a seam there. But however, since this is the start of one over here on this side, we do want the end of a plank to be at this um, UV vertical edge here. So let's get, hit Control T on this second copy and drag that in something like that. Looks very good. Let's see how that's gonna look. Now what we're doing here is we're trying to make it seamless so that we cannot tell that since I cut the barrel right here, we don't want to be able to see that. We don't want to be able to make it obvious. So let's save this as a JPEG. Go ahead and save it as the diffuse. Save, okay, back here and hit Alt R. And that, that looks very good. You can see where we have our scene here. Now you really can't tell at all. So that's looking good. But maybe we do want this, this part here to be on the bottom too. So let's go ahead and do that. We just merge these layers, make that visible again, and transform it. Control zero so we can see everything. And bring that right on up, something like that. And I'm not really worried about 
the wood looking too squished because it was a rather big image and I think it's going to work just fine. So let's do this. And there we go. Looks really good already. Now all we need to do is the top and the bottom and then we'll do some shading so that it looks really good. Let's make that visible again. Go over here and use the wooden planks as the top as well. Since we have this, we can just we can just move it right here and control click on our selection layer. This is what this is for. We can see that we need to move this down, so let's go ahead and move it down so that it's filling up this entire circle here. Click it, W, select inverse, and delete. And go ahead and marquee selection this with our rectangle, marquee selection, and delete that part there. Now, that looks really good. We need the top. Control J to duplicate that, name it bottom, and just move it right on over here. Drag these below our UVs, get this one placed just right. Using my arrow keys to just nudge them a little. And we can marquee select this one and delete it. So that's looking good. Let's go ahead and save this as a JPEG. Check in Blender and very cool. So you can already see that this is going to be a barrel. However, we do need to add just a few more details, some shading, and we are good to go. So I'm going to stop this video here. We're going to go over that in the next one. You want to add a gradient on the top, a circle gradient, so that we can see that it is meeting. It's a corner, so it's going to be just a little bit darker.